Alright guys, so we're working on Elias' room today, and he loves the bunk beds in his room. But, with him being two, he can't climb up there, he can't get down on his own and stuff like that. So we wanted to put something up there that would kind of keep him in the bed, kind of like crib rails or bunk bed rails. But if you guys have ever had this issue, it is almost impossible to find anything that will work on the bunk beds of a travel trailer. So we're going to try and make something today that we can put up and take down when he's in there to keep him from rolling out of the bed, trying to get out of the bed, because he really likes that bunk bed. We just want him to be safe up there. So here the past week or so since we've had the trailer, he's been sleeping on the jackknife couch, which he likes, and it gives him some independence. He gets down and comes to our room every night. And I'm getting attacked by a horse fly, guys. Come on. But he's enjoying that independence, but he really enjoys being up there in the bunk bed. So we're gonna try and make something. So what we're using, we're going to use one inch PVC to make a frame. We've got the one inch PVC and then we've got some elbows so that we can make those 90 degree turns with the PVC to make the frame. Then Heather's going to take and put some fabric over that and then we'll be able to take it up, put it up, take it down, that kind of thing whenever he's sleeping in it. So what you need, tape measure, something to mark with. This is a little handy dandy tool right here guys, this ratchet, it ratchets down as you're cutting and it will make a good clean cut in that PVC for you. So that's just a fancy pipe cutter there. So that's about all you need, but uh, we're going to start measuring and cutting it out. We'll put the frame together and then we'll figure out how we're going to keep the frame up there. So one step at a time, we'll start with building the frame. Alright, so we've got it cut to length now. We cut ours at 67 inches. That gives us a little bit of a gap at the end, but that's okay. It's not a gap that he can fit through, and it just makes it a little bit more easy to move within that small space. But that's where these 90s come in. We're going to put a 90 on the end, on each end. And if we're not going to do go crazy and put all kinds of pipe dope and stuff like that on it. They're just going to slide on. So there you go, and you can kind of see the idea we're get going with here now. Now we'll have a piece that comes down about 12 inches here, and then we'll have another piece the same length as this one that goes across. That'll give us our frame. Is Daddy making you a bed? Are you gonna? Wow! <laughs> Are you gonna sleep on the top bunk? Mm -hmm. You're so excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You like it up there because it has a window, right? Yeah, you gonna talk? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Are you helping Daddy? Oh, you're supervising Daddy. Is he doing a good job? Papa. Hey, is Daddy doing a good job on your bed? Elias? He said no comments for the camera. Alright guys, so there's our main, the main frame of our bunk rail, and then like I said, Heather's going to take and put some fabric over this, but looks like something straight out of Baby's R Us. 
It's pretty fancy. All right, guys. So to mount our frame up here that we've that we built outside, we're going to use just regular conduit clamps or straps, whichever one you want to call them. And we're just going to put a couple. We're going to put one into the wall. So yes, you do have to put some screw holes into the wall. And then the rest of them are going to go across the bottom of the frame underneath the mattress, just to hold it in place, keep it steady, so that if he does push on it, it doesn't come crumbling down. Um, but He's not really one of those crib escape artists. He goes to bed, he sleeps, and then he sits in his bed and plays if he gets up before us. So not too worried about that, but just in case, we're going to put these uh, str metal straps on there just to hold that pipe secure. Now, what I'm doing here, and they make these, so this was just my fault. I could have bought ones that were already like this. Because these are going along the bottom and they're on that rail there, if you have the U clip, the U straps, it pushes out. So all I'm doing is I'm taking one of those ears and I'm just squishing, folding it back in. It's pretty light metal, so you can do that with your fingers. But like I said, you can buy them to where it's just one side, and that's what I would do. If I had to do it over again, that's what I would do. Alright guys, so my part's done. The frame is up. Now it's all left. All that's left to do is Heather's going to take some fabric, put it around the frame so that there's something there to actually hold them in. But I think it worked out pretty well. Um, on the screws, we just used really small wood screws because, as you guys know, these walls aren't great for screwing into. Um, so we just used really small wood screws. They're secure. Um, Elias isn't going to be ripping them out of the wall or anything like that. So I'm confident in that working to hold him in his crib. And now all that's left is the fabric. All right, guys, so we finished the bunk rail. We had to change our plans a little bit because we got halfway through with the fabric over it idea and realized neither one of us know how to sew. So we did something a little different. We put a middle rail in here, and all we did for that, guys, was we got a couple of tees from Lowe's, same place we got the PVC, and then you can kind of see there where I notched it out so that that piece is across this middle piece right here can actually pop out and if we want to see and then we're, we all RV so we should have a few extra hitch pins around you just take that hitch pin out like that take this hitch pin out like that and then boom boom that comes down and this is where he can come and go when we need to get him up get him down all that fun stuff and then when he's in there you just pop that back in place, just like that. Now this is the this is the tricky part. This is like threading a needle. You got to line those holes back up, put those hitch pins back in. And I mean, honestly, Elias isn't one of those ex one of those escape artist babies. So for him, he probably wouldn't even be able to pop that out if he wanted to. But Safety first, safety always. We're putting the hitch pins in just to make it a little extra secure. So this one I made a little tight. So when I do this one, I just got to pull it down a little bit. Line up my holes. Push it through. And there you have it. So now we have a bunk rail. Elias can use the top bunk now. Probably what we're going to do is just to get a little bit more or less space between this rail and the bottom of the bunk. Probably what we're going to do, we're going to put a pool noodle under here. That'll lift up that mattress a little bit, make it a little bit tighter fit. Again, not that he would he would escape, but I don't want him falling out of the bed. So we're going to do everything we can to make sure that he's as safe as possible while he's sleeping. Because he loves this bunk. We want him to continue loving it. 
So that's just a real simple bunk bed rail for your bunkhouse in your travel trailer. I didn't find any that were made for these bunk beds. That's why we ended up having to make our own. Oh, oh. So if this video helps you out, if it gives you some ideas, if you've got some ways to improve upon this idea, comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. But I hope it helps you. I hope it works for you. We're in Elias's room, so he's busy playing. I hope it helps you guys out. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get notifications when we come up with new little ideas like this. And uh, make sure you share us with your friends. Let them know what we're up to. So thanks for checking us out again, guys. I'm glad we were able to show you guys our new bunk bed rail.